Welcome back to another episode. Today I want to talk to you about how you can secure your website's login page and the login page of all your online accounts, whether it's your social media accounts, your bank accounts, or any of the other online accounts you have. Now we always hear about the stories of websites getting hacked or somebody getting compromised, you know, their information being taken from their online accounts. And we wonder, you know, how does this happen? And what can we do to better protect ourselves? So that's the topic of today's video. Now, the one thing that we do have control over is our user credentials. That's our username and our password. Uh, this is something that we have to take you know, responsibility for and really try to make it as strong as possible. Obviously, we all would love to have easy credentials that you know would make it very seamless for us to you know, log into our accounts. But the problem with that is that hackers have access to what's called botnets. A botnet is a collection of zombie computers that are connected in a network and simultaneously attacking the login page of a website. And they'll do that because most websites have security implemented in their firewall settings to block IP addresses or attempts to log in after a certain amount of failed attempts, right? So the botnet can get around this because they have, you know, maybe a thousand computers all attempting simultaneously from different locations or even up to millions of computers all trying to access the login page and a firewall it, it's tough for a firewall to block all those attempts since they come from different IP addresses so what can we do make our user credentials as strong and unique as possible now it's difficult right because in order to have a strong password it's recommended that it's over 14 characters and ideally I recommend that your password be over 20 characters long and they should be multi-character they should be uppercase lowercase uh, letters they should be numbers a random mix of numbers they should be special characters all combined together in a non-dictionary type format because again these botnets are automate automated for the most part and they work off of dictionary attacks or rainbow tables tables so if you can make your password very long and secure and unique then it makes it that much more difficult for a botnet to access your your website via your user credentials. Um, now, on top of that, there's even another layer of security that you can implement, and that's using two-factor authentication. Now, with two-factor authentication, this is when you use an app like Google Authenticator for your iPhone or Android phone. And then whenever you attempt to log into a website, you will then need to use the randomly generated code that's uh, generated from your device and then input that along with your username and password. So now this is a second form of authentication, making it virtually impossible for somebody to brute force attack your login page of your site or your online accounts. Now, how do you manage all these unique passwords? Because if you have, you know, a hundred different online accounts, like the average person does, whether it's social media accounts, email accounts, or other types of accounts, you know, it gets tough to, to manage all those passwords. That's where a password manager comes in. By using a password manager, you can create these very long passwords uh, that are managed by one application that you then have a master password for, and then that will automatically log you into each of your online accounts because it's encrypted secure storage facility for all your online accounts user credentials and of course you don't should always take a backup of those credentials and just have it in a safe location but it's a great way to create all these 20 plus character passwords uh, that are unique for each individual online account Combine that with the power of two-factor authentication, and now you have just significantly raised the security of your online accounts. All right, so in this episode, I just wanted to, you know, briefly give you an overview of what we can do to better secure our online identities and accounts by using strong passwords with a password manager and two-factor authentication to add another layer of security. And this is to prevent brute force attacks. Uh, this is where a 
botnet of zombie computers attempts to log into your your online accounts by attacking the login page from different IP addresses. If you follow the tips that I just described, you will be uh, well ahead of the vast majority of people who unfortunately still have unsecure user credentials. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful and hopefully you'll, you'll heed my advice and get a password manager and use two-factor authentication to take greater control of the security of your online accounts. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and let, let me know what you think in the comment section below and let me know what videos you'd like for me to create. I create videos on WordPress, on search engine optimization, and other topics that deal with you know, web design and development. So share your thoughts, give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.